Welcome back, people. This is a continuation of topic F, and this is entitled Incomplete Records. All right, here we are. We've already finished the notes earlier on, and now we are moving to attempt uh, some questions. Here is a past year, short past year exam question from the year 2005. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, Jane, this is from 2005, yes. Uh, Jane started a business on 1st of April, 2003. Since that time, Jane has not maintained any financial records. She's able to provide the following information relating to her second year of trading. So what have they given us? They've given us opening inventory, closing inventory, purchases, cash sales and credit sales. Okay, they also tell you that gross profit margin is 20%. Remember, gross profit margin is defined as gross profit over total sales, okay? Times 100%, that will give you 20%. Calculate by means of a trading account section of an income statement, the value of Jane, uh, Jane's credit sales for the year ended 31st of March 2005. Okay, if you have done uh, sufficiently, you have done enough practice and look at my notes at the beginning of this topic. Uh, you can pause this video, take up pen and paper and attempt this question yourself. Having done that, you can resume and compare your answer with my solution. Ready? Here goes. Okay, um, okay this very short, very short question here. So now, uh, okay, people, what do you do? Write down the heading, income statement for the year ended. Okay, now the revenue, uh, I, the revenue, what I know is that cash sales is 6,600. Credit sales is missing. Okay, I put this here as a working, you know, but in the exam, you can take that out. Just that uh, it guides you to learn. So X is the missing, X is what we're trying to find. Okay, now... They've given us, okay, heading, please, people, cost of sales, a heading. All right, write a heading here. Below it is your opening inventory. We're given opening inventory. We are also given the purchases. Okay, so subtotal, and we are also given closing inventory. All right, so therefore, we know that the cost of sales is $14,000, right? Now, uh, but because we are told that the gross profit margin is 20%. So gross profit margin means what? Your gross profit over sales times 100 is 20%. So in this column here, this is my working. I'm fond of writing this. So write down, this is 20%. Excuse me. Therefore, sales is 100%. Therefore, gross profit is 80%. Right? So... We work backwards, we know that the cost of sales is 14000 Therefore, the gross profit must have been 3500 How do you know that? The gross profit is just 20 over 80 times 14000 And you'll get the 3500 So now that you know this 3500 and you know the cost of sales, you add together, will give you your total sales, which is 17500 Therefore, 17500 minus... The cash sales of 6,600 will give you credit sales. 10,900. That's it. We're done. Okay, you can pause this video again and look at my answer. Okay.